Now, in the in the book that followed, I know there was an appendix to the special yes. relativity. Yes, right? and, uh, and, uh, that was in the 60s, and uh, I, I wrote a book on special relativity with an appendix which I devoted to perception, and I said that there was an analogy between perception and uh, the way relativity treated things, that you you couldn't, uh, according to relativity, everything was related to the way that you interacted with it to observe it, you see, mm -hmm. and also to, according to quantum mechanics, right? Now, uh, see, the point about perception is that it's a dynamic process, that we are constantly doing things and then seeing what happens, right? Handling objects and seeing what happens, or move. everything must move. The eyeball must move in order to show light, to show form. Mm -hmm. And we're... It's an active process. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, suppose we say we are uh, looking at a circular object, a solid, and as we walk around it, it really looks like an ellipse. You know, an artist draws it that way, with perspective. But we know by now that there are different uh, appearances of the circle. Mm -hmm. We say really it's a circle which is solid, right? Yeah. So we could say the ellipse is our appearance and the circle is the essence. Right? But then scientists came along and said that's only an appearance too because the circle is made of a lot of atoms. It's really mostly empty space, atoms moving there. And, and therefore the atoms are the essence. Huh? So, but then others, later on they came along and said these atoms are made of smaller objects, they're mostly empty space. Atoms too are appearances. <coughs> and then these smaller objects were found to be made of quarks and so on. There were electrons and protons then made of quarks. and then they said these are fields and uh, see they're looking for a theory of everything but it, it keeps on receding right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in other words so i say that this suggests to me that uh, everything is uh, even our thoughts are fundamentally appearances how things appear to the mind right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we combine by combining many views of the object we understand the object and the stereoscope two views give three dimensions is that clear? Yeah. So, by combining many views of the circle, we, uh, of this object, we get the notion it's a circle. Mm -hmm. By combining it with the scientific view, we get another view on it, a circle which is made of atoms. But then mm -hmm. another view is that the atoms are constituted of smaller particles and so on. The more views we get that we can integrate and make cohere, the deeper our understanding of the, uh, uh, of the reality is, right? But I say the reality the, uh, the essence would be called the true being, that really we never get hold of, right? It, yeah, it's unlimited. Hmm. Everything, every view is limited. It's like a mirror looking this way, another, many, many mirrors, each one gives a view, a limited view, right? But see, so I said uh, theories don't give final true knowledge. They give a way of looking. The, the very word theoria in Greek means theater, same word. Right? It's sort of a theater of the mind that gives insight into the thing, right? And therefore, uh, yeah, so uh, you can say that fundamentally, science is involved in a perceptual enterprise, not, in, not primarily in gaining knowledge, though knowledge appears, but knowledge is a byproduct. Uh, mm -hmm. And by understanding the thing, you can coherently, then our contact with it, as long as it is coherent, it shows that our understanding is correct. You see, we must distinguish between correct appearances and incorrect appearances or illusory. Right? Now, if, if an appearance is correct, it is in some way related to the reality, but it's evidently not the reality. The ellipses, if we understand their meaning, are a correct appearance to the eye. Right? <laughs> Though it's not an ellipse, it's still correct. <laughs> So are you suggesting that this is an inherent aspect of the thinking process? Yes, or? that's right, of our whole perceptual process. Mm -hmm. Our thinking process should be called an extension of our perception when done rightly. Mm -hmm. Not primarily the accumulation of knowledge, which we put into various records. Right? 